All right. Woo. So, Robert, I, I was telling Robert that, uh, Mr. Davis, that my board was not working. As soon as I logged off and I was going to teach on my computer, it decided to straighten up. I was going to take a picture so I could show show my boss, hey, this isn't working. And then all of a sudden, boom. <laughs> so you know how things go. That's just what happened this morning. And um, uh, it, it's just been a lot of running around. You always hear uh, Mahaya Barnett talking about, we're running around, running around. We're running around. <laughs> so uh, let's see. Okay, yes, I am back on. So that's, um, that's what's been going on this morning. We did teach some uh, students yesterday or some learners yesterday, um, the adults, and that was pretty good. Um, whenever we're asked to teach, we don't always know the level of um, learners that we have. And, and uh, so I taught clans, but I think uh, of the learners, you know, I could have taught something different. But anyway, they know about the clans. And just a, you see this, Yoda, baby Yoda. <laughs> My daughter got that for me because I'm always talking about Yoda being Muskogee. <laughs> so, uh, you know, uh, Haya, uh, we, aren't, we aren't seeing you at all. Is that oh. something? Okay. Wow. Oh. Let's see. Do you see me now? No, ma'am. Sure don't. Monks. Yeah. Okay, because I can see me over there. So all you guys can't see me? Oh, I can yeah, see you now. Sorry. <laughs> it's not all about me, though. <laughs> but oh. I was like, I see me over there. Okay. All right. So we've got a lot that have been going on. I haven't been able to catch one of the uh, speakers um, to, to finish my PowerPoints for the uh, presentations that we had last week. Um, so um, like I said, I will teach it. You guys know that I'm not a first speaker and I'm not sounding a little choppy, but that's okay. So let's go ahead and get started and let's uh, sing our song. I haven't gotten a new song either. We, like I said, we've just been busy running from here to there. I always, I've heard that saying, feel like a one-legged man in a fancy dance. <laughs> and that was from a movie. I quote movies. <laughs> so you, you guys might be able to understand the movie terms. All right. So let's go ahead and sing our song. And let's see if I can share. I want to make sure that you guys can, uh, let me stop the share. I want to make sure you guys can hear it as well. Sometimes I hit the, I don't hit the right button. All right. So let's go. If you guys can hear it, just give me a thumbs up. Okay. Can you guys hear it? I can't hear it. I can't no, hear it. Okay. Mm. I don't know why this sometimes. Okay. So I'm going to have to do something a little different today. So sometimes when I do these things, for some reason, if I go into Google, it will not act correctly. And don't ask me why. Oh, come on. Here you go. So let me try it through this drive. Module two. Sometimes for some reason, when I try to play our songs in the Google Drive from Google Chrome, it gets cranky and I don't know what the deal is. See if we can hear this one. Okay. <laughs> I'm <laughs> <laughs> 
choppy it was choppy okay yeah. all right i was trying to sing so if you guys heard me sing <laughs> you know it was, i can hear it here for some reason it was really good but like i said for some reason um our one screen is being a little cranky today it forgot my name it forgot who i was <laughs> I had to log on log off but uh, we'll just work through it and if if there's anything that you guys cannot see just let me know um I'm trying to make sure everything is kit correctly and it just disappeared again. All right. And I don't know why it keeps doing this, but it just started today. I know Mahaya Barnett taught yesterday and everything was good to go. And um, they must have had some kind of update. I know they say, oh, updates don't interfere. Oh, yeah, they do. <laughs> yeah, they do. Okay. So. Like I said, we are um, conjugating going to, and let's see if I can show our notes here. And again, this is the same thing that we've been going over, but this is just third person this week. So um, future one tense shows that someone is going to do something. There's no L grading in future one tense. You drop your ETV, you get your tense marker, ahan, which means going to. You add your person marker, I, it's, or nothing. And then you add your declarative ending, S or ES, meaning am, or is. So I means I, it's means you, and nothing means she, he, they, or it. Oh, yeah, it is Kibala. <laughs> That's a <uh>, strawberry. <laughs> and I'm ladybug. Now I don't know the word for ladybug, um, but I can find out. Because I, I was uh, talking to somebody and said, hey, ladybug, how you doing? <laughs> I guess I should say it in Muskogee. But, uh, so those are our rules. Like I said, the only thing in our rules that changes is the third rule, add the person marker. Everything else remains the same. So that's pretty much what we've been doing first person. We went by the same rules. So like I said, just the third rule um, changes because we're talking about I. Second person is it's, so that's uh, the only thing that changed on week two. And so this is week three and it's uh, nothing. Like I said, the open and close parenthesis is my way of keeping notes on keeping myself in step. And that means she, he, they, or it. They also meaning one person, not many people. It also meaning one person. We're just doing singular. All right, so let's see. I will go with, uh, like I said, humbra is my, my favorite word. And it's not only that I like to eat, it's just when you eat with your family, you get to talk and you get to um, share everything that happens. So it's more of a communal family thing. I guess the reason why um, I think about eating to get together, you you know, get together with relatives, you know, even a cookout. So that's why that is so um, important to me is get together, have fun, sit there, have everybody do potluck. Even when we do um, potluck for um, our class on Friday, it's a good community event and we just have fun talking. And, and of course, uh, you got Nikki over there and Robert, they're teasing all the time. So it's a good, it's a good time and we always have fun. So that's what, you know, when I think about, um, um, eating, that's what comes to mind, is having a good time with your family. So here is our third person template. And you see it's, it looks exactly, almost exactly the same as first and second person. The only thing that's changed right here is add the person marker. 
So let's briefly go over it. And if we find any issues, then I can always correct them. Um, let's see right here, you add your infinitive and I didn't get any new infinitives. I was trying to make sure that I had all everything ready for uh, yesterday. We just shut down and we taught. So you put your infinitive verb there, like kombida, put kombida right here, and to eat. Put it over here, kombida, to eat. Kombida, you drop your ETV and you get your verb stem, kombida. And the verb stem by itself really doesn't mean anything. It's just uh, a step to get to your final conjugation. All right, now L grading, and that was in module one. You guys, if you have any questions about L grading, the notes are there in module one. And then you drop your H-O-M-P, which is your verb stem. And you add a han, a han means going to. I am going to do something. You are going to do something. She is going to do something. He is going to do something. It is going to do something. They are going to do something. All right. And drop it again down. Oh, ahan. You see that we add the person marker. Since um, ahan is third person, there's no, there's nothing for third person. So it's a blank space. I put my um, open and close parentheses there, knowing that. I'm still making sure that I go step by step. Like I said, when I learn this and to help some of us um, learn it a little better, I go step by step. So that's a placeholder for me. So that's really nothing there. Add your home, a han, your place marker for your person marker, and you add es. Right here, the reason why you add as es is because a han ends in a consonant. If there's a consonant, you add a vowel. If there's a vowel, you don't add another vowel. So if there was a vowel there instead of the N, if there was a vowel, say it was a uh, just an A right there, take off the N, if it was an A, you would just add the S. So if there's no vowel, you add a vowel. If there's a vowel, you do not add a vowel. All right, we're, tr we're not trying to create diphthongs. There are some in our Muscogee language and that's two vowels together. So ES means am, are, is, be homp ahanis, homp ahanis. Homp would be your verb stem, like umbra. Ahan means going to. Person marker, she, he, it, or they is right here. And es is am, are, is. So I um, tried to make it a little easier. I did, you know, um, put am, are, is in there at the bottom here so you can know. So homp ahanis, and you put. Hompahan is, it is, um, and in third person, you can pick she, and then you can pick is going to eat, he is going to eat, they are going to eat, it is going to eat. All right, so that is our template. Like I tell everybody, plug and play, plug and play. And, um, I get that term from um, from our electronics. You know, there's some things you your some of your software, even, well, some of your hardware. You just plug it in and just start start going, start going. Like some of the old mice, you just plug it in, or or keyboards. And I'm kind of dating myself with that one. You know, plugging in because we don't do that anymore. <laughs> it's mostly just uh, you know, uh, it's wireless. But so here here are the infinitive verbs that I had printed off from modules one, two, and three. These are the ones that we are still working with. All right, and they are in the uh, Google Drive. And uh, like I said, umbida is, uh, it conjures good memories, food, eating, family, getting together, and just a wholesome idea to me. That's why, you know, it's my one of my favorites. Umbida, to eat. Basically, I'm just going through and showing you what I, I um, briefly went over in the uh, template. So now you get a visual to what I just said. And uh, so you've got the template. Now you get a visual humida to eat. Um, at, you drop your ETB, get your verb stem, L grading, no L grading. And cool thing is, is uh, you just drop everything down. So you're going from to eat and I, I, she is eating, he is eating, it is eating, and they are eating. Home ahan, right here, as you're going to. Home ahan, 
add your person marker. And again, that is nothing. We mean she, he, it, or they. On Bahanas, the declarative ending. This is your final conjugation right here, Hon Bahanas. This again is your, you know, the, the little open and close parentheses is the placeholder. You, right here is the final look of what we are, what we have just conjugated without my placeholder. Hon Bahanas. Hon Bahanas. He is going to eat. And I chose in this example, he, it could be she, he, it, or they. But right here, he is going to eat. Verb stem, hence marker, aha, uh -huh, mean going to. Person marker, these are all your options for the person marker. And your declarative uh, declarative ending, am, are, is. All right, so we went from humbida to eat to humbahanes, humbahanes, humbahanes. He is going to eat, she is going to eat, they are going to eat, it is going to eat. Does anybody have any questions? The cool thing about this is since we've already done the step by step by step, you know, even, for, you know, if you're um, learning how to um, speak Muscogee, if you look at this right here, that can be really scary on trying to figure out how to pronounce it. But right here, so the easy breakdown, home, ahan, yes, home, ahanis, home, ahanis. All right. So if you guys have any questions or problems trying to say the final version, just do it in steps. Um, bahanis. Um, bahanis. All right, and you get a little bit uh, smoother each time you practice that. Anybody have any questions? Oh, there's a question. Monks, <laughs> Nikki. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. All right, I will look up Ladybug to see what that is and Robert <laughs> um, to see how to pronounce that um, because I do pe call people uh, Ladybug. Hey, Ladybug, what's up? <laughs> it's just, a, I think it's a cute term of, uh, of endearment for friends and, you know, ladies everywhere. <sighs> okay, so here are the, here's the conjugation again. And the cool thing I like about this is we know what we're saying. Um, when we were teaching yesterday, there are some people who um, have learned the Muscogee language through our hymns, which is awesome and a good way to learn, but sometimes you don't know what you're singing. <laughs> so to me, I always like to know what I'm think saying or singing. It's just because I wanna know, you know, what am I saying? Am I, you know, saying something and and i just you know i just like to know i like to know so go ahead. go ahead um we were at the elders dinner and they gave us a book of hymns i can bring uh -huh. it on friday okay is it the little black book no it's um i'll show it to you okay, okay. but it has the english version and the muskoki versions Okay, I've got the little black book and that has the English and the Muscogee, but I know I've seen somewhere my mom had some old ones where it was just Muscogee and, you know, I, I feel comfortable if I know what I'm saying. That's just, that's how I am. So the cool thing is when we, um, we conjugate, now since we go step by step by step, you know what you're saying. So, you know, Okay, this is, should be eating, not learning. I I messed that one up. Okay, so it's eating, going to, she, he, it, they, am, are, is. So this is what everything represents in our conjugation. Like I said, change that to eating, and um, and, and you'll know what we're talking about eating. And you know, ahan means going to, and since, like I said, third person means she, he, it, or they all combined in that little bitty parenthesis um, that is not there. <laughs> and then am, are, is, is es. So you hompahanes, hompahanes. So here is your Muscogee word, hompahanes. So if you look, homp, eating, ahan, going to is am, are, is, hompahanes. Literal translation, eating, she, he, it, they, am, are, is. That's what uh, e, es, the is, is, am, are, is. 
And then, you know, um, in your parentheses, this is what it represents. Eating, and that's where you get to choose what you're talking about, who you're talking about. Eating she is, eating he is, eating it is, eating they are. So the English translation, and I know I put everything out there so you will, you won't get confused if it's only one or the other. So your English translation, like I said, whatever you're talking about. She is eating, he is eating, it is eating, they are eating. All right. So this is the, the cool way to break it down. You've got your colors there to keep everything in line. So you know what's going on. So Hompahani is, you know, you know, um, she is or eating, she is, or she is eating. He is eating, they are eating. So that's the cool thing about um, when I, I teach, I like to show a lot of color and I also like to show you what things mean. So you won't sit there and be confused on what did I just say? <laughs> you know, what am I saying? What am I talking about? All right, another thing that came up yesterday was I don't know how many of you guys have QR codes, uh, readers, but this is in our, um, this is in our Google Drive. I just put it there for you guys. The Muskogee Language Memorize QR code, Muskogee Language Facebook QR code, Muskogee Language Instagram QR code, Muskogee Language Linktree QR code. I just found the Linktree, I think a couple of weeks ago, so that was new to me, and Muskogee Language Google Drive QR code. So these are in our Google Drive. So if you guys ever, are looking for something and, and get confused, they're out there. I will give you the Google Drive um, uh, link in a second here. I know I said that last week, but I I didn't get to get it for you guys. All right. Mahaya. Yes. Uh, thank you for all the hard work. I, am, I love the Memorize, and I was pleasantly surprised to hear that somebody has also been working on the audio with that app and I, that has so much work. All of this represents so much work. So thank you, Mado Mado to the Mahaya Ogi doing that. Yeah. It's, it was a pleasant right. surprise this morning. So I, I can't imagine the hours you guys have put into all this, but Mado. Did they already put some, some uh, sound to it? Is that what you were saying? Yes, ma'am, some of them. It's little by little, there's more and more, but even without the sound, it's tremendous. It's just, okay. just, so much work in all of this and it really does help quite a lot especially for those of us that are in the diaspora out here you know so middle right okay and um and just good to hear you know the feedback on on a lot of the things that we do because you guys don't tell us we don't know you know if we need to change things or or you know um what you guys are looking for i have not been able to set one of the mahayas down for um for all of these things that I'm showing you today. But as soon as I can grab one of those, bug, when when not hoka, lady hokti. Okay, lady bug. Okay. All right, well, that's cool to know. I might put that on one of my words of the day. <laughs> all right, so this is for um, Robert and Nikki. See if you guys can hear it. Apple pie. So we were talking about what is the word for apple pie, and I just remember sadataco, and I wasn't sure about uh, the rest of it. So I found that. I'm like, okay, I made a little video for, you, for everybody to know what apple pie means. They've got all different kind of pies. Uh, Pagana simadiki, which is um, peach pie. So just basically put whatever you have in the pie and then said put simadiki. All right, so this is a, these are some of the things that we were talking about. I didn't get to make the sentence. Actually, I did make the sentences. I don't know. See, okay, they didn't transfer over, but I made some sentences and um, that's not it. I made some sentences that I wanted to share and I don't see it right here. Okay. So remember when we were talking about dos, T-O-S, dos. I had made a new one of these because 
the way they teach here is like it is called Casepi Dos. So since they teach like that, I'm going to change the way that I've learned and teach it the way they teach here. I know they said I could teach it either way, but it makes it easier when you're working with people to, to um, speak and to spell the way that your, your office speaks and spells. So I got a new updated one of that. And I, and uh, Inga, I got a new one of that. I don't, I guess it didn't transfer over, but it says, Beta is stoidoa. It is, how is it outside? And I had it broken down. I wish it would have come over, but sometimes, Sometimes Google's just cranky like that. And then Casepi uh, Dos. That's how I have it now on the new um, handout. And it will be there this afternoon because I just did it. Casepi Dos. It is cold. You can also put Casepi Dos. Like you see it here, it is cold. You see it both ways. Casepi Dos or Casepi Dos. Either way is good. Um, our conversations about pronunciation and spelling is constant because some people spell it this way, some people spell it with a TOS. Either way is um, acceptable. We know what you're talking about. We've seen literature with Kasapi Dos or Kasapit Os. And um, you just look, just for your information, it's good either way. All right. And I did change that, and there should be an I on there. Oh, there should be I on there. Heit os. Heit os. So between the H and the Y is an I. Heit os. It is hot. And mojaneta. Um, Heit os. Today is hot. How I changed it is mojaneta. Heit dos. Today is hot. <clears throat> So, like I said, you will see that this afternoon because, uh, like I said, since uh, a lot of our speakers speak it this way, I'm going to change it to hey dos. But, you know, it's not wrong this way either. Mojaneta kasapi kasapit os. Today is called Mojaneta kasapit os. Kasapit os. Today is called. So, how I'm going to change it is Mojaneta kasapi dos. Today is cold, all right? Mojaneta hidosit os. Today is beautiful. So on the hidosit, um, when I looked it up in the dictionary, this is how I learned it. And a lot of the stuff is from college that I had learned. Um, I was talking to the Mahayas and I changed the spelling on that after I looked in the dictionary. And it's H-E-R-U-S-E-T hidosit os. But I've changed it. Mojaneta Hidosi Dos. Today is beautiful. Okay. Hodoli Yichi Dos. The wind is strong. Hodoli Yichi Dos. And like I said, when we talk, I, I'm trying to emulate Mahaya Barnett because she is a speaker. I've heard it Hodoli. And uh, if you look at the uh, the sounds, and we were talking about sounds yesterday, there the O doesn't say O, so hodily is is uh, is not going with the sounds of the Muscogee. The hodily, hodily, hodily yichidos, hodily yichidos. The wind is strong. So these are some of the cool things that I've learned, and uh, I. When I updated this, for some reason, like I said, it didn't show up today. But when I updated this, I was showing what everything means because I like to know what I'm, I'm talking about or what I'm reading. So Mujaneta is today. Hei is hot. And TOS dos, it is. Today is hot or it it is hot. Today is hot. Um, there's some things that we were talking about in English that does not have a direct correlation to, to Muscogee, and Muscogee does not directly correlate to English. So a lot of things, um, sometimes you have to infer um, because there's not a Muscogee word for it. Sometimes, like, um, Iva, Dos, 
Iva, which is dog, dos, it is. So it would be Iva, which is dog, and it is dos. So English translation, it is a dog. You can translate it like that. But there's no direct word in that sentence for a. All right. Does that make sense? All right. All right. Anybody have any questions before I go to the next slide? So this is out there. Like I said, I've updated a little bit. I did break it down because um, that helps a lot of us who are learning um, the, the pronunciation to take it in bite-sized chunks. And um, I like to try to cover everybody from beginner to those who are who are who um, have more knowledge of the Muscogee language. And maybe I can, if you have more knowledge of the Muscogee language, Maybe you can catch something that you didn't know before when we're, we're teaching. All right. So when I brought this up in class, I asked everybody, what is the name of the color? Muscogee name of the color. Does anybody have, uh, have a clue? You can unmute or you can type it in chat. What is the name of the color of this background? Jari Omi. Jari Omi. All right. All right. Awesome. So Omi, I knew, meant the color, just like Yalaha Omi is, Yalaha is orange, and Omi means it's the color. So yesterday, when we were teach, uh, teaching the, uh, the learners, Omi means like, similar, like. So that's how you get, like, for, for the color Yalaha Omi, it's like orange, like an orange. So it's that color. So I didn't know Omi meant like or similar to, you know, the color, but I always was uh, was told that it was the color. It meant the color. So that was something new that I didn't know. All right. And this, what I had, when I had presented this last week, Fiki, hard, heavy, good, goal, not. So when I seen this um, written down, I got excited because I knew what all of these things broken down meant. It says restless, having a troubled heart. You see the first part, feek, F-E-K. It comes from feeky, heavy, comes from the word good. And goal, like I was telling you guys, is not, you know. Eco or go means not. So heart, good, not. Basically, that's what that means. Heart, good, not. So I like the way that when we're learning, we can break things down sometimes even further to know what it means. It doesn't always work like that, but this is an example where it does work like that. Heart, good, not. All right. Bikhithka, inner peace. Bikhithka. I like to think about that because, you know, my daily, um, my daily mornings, I, I always say, I'm here, you know, uh, another time. And uh, one of the cool things is I, just recently I leveled up. So I got another year under my belt. And um, for those of you guys who hear or, or know about playing games, they always say, oh, you leveled up. So that's where I get that from. My kids always say, oh, mama, you leveled up. So I like to think, oh, you know, I leveled up. Woohoo! And uh I know there, you know, in the past, there have been people who who didn't like to to uh, share their their age, but I, I get excited because, you know, I we know all know people who haven't made it to the age we are now, and so I'm like, you know, every day is a blessing. All right, here are our nature words: hussy, sun. And so. The reason I wanted to throw this out is because I know um, Amy when we were talking is I go out and I acknowledge the world in Muskogee. And that actually makes a different kind of connection because you're speaking to them in the language the creator gave our people. So that's a different kind of feeling and more spiritual, more connection. And um, just try it. For those of you who don't do this, just try it. And you will see that there is a different kind of reciprocation you get from whatever you're talking to, talking about. Um, my husband is not native, and he's like, you know, don't let everybody know you talk to the trees. But <laughs> and I was like, well, actually, he did not say that. He goes, you know, I used to do this when I was young, but people were like, what are you doing? 
So he's more open to, to some of the things that our Muskogee people knew than um, a lot of other people. But I hear people say, don't let people know you're talking to the trees or the sun or, but you know, it doesn't matter. You get to pass a, per a certain age and you're like, you know, I just want to be me. I want to appreciate something. So these are the, the words of our nature, which you can walk outside and say, hussy, sun, mado, mado, you know, um, hathisi, moon, mado, hathisi, mado. And what you cannot say in Muskogee yet, think it. Think it, and there is a connection. And you, even if you can't say it in Muskogee, think it. And it's almost like an unspoken, I know what you said. All right. Pahi, grass. Pahi, grass. Ido, tree. Ido, tree. And uh, my, my uh, story on that is my grandchild knows Ido. We're driving, Ido, Ido, Ido. And then she'll start getting progressively louder and louder. I'm like, okay, baby, use your inside voice, inside voice. And then she's like, Ido, tree, <laughs> while we're driving. <laughs> so I don't tell her to use her inside voice because that seems to do the opposite effect. All right. And then snow, e to d. You see, there's three different ways e to d, e to d, hutki, e to d, taco. And those are three words that mean snow. Um, different people say different words for the same same thing. So those are three different words for snow. So you might hear one or the other, but you know it's not wrong. It's just a different region, different different people have said the same thing for snow. All right. And then I know a lot of people know Owa and Wiwa for water. Um, I always grew up hearing Owa, and not until recently did I hear oh, uh, Wiwa. But I hear Wiwa is older, and then somebody else told me, an elder told them a story of water, and they said, you know, originally I think it was Owa Wiwa was the whole name for water. And some people only remember Owa, and some people only remember Wiwa. And this is, that's what he told me. So I'm like, well, that makes sense, Owa Wiwa. Um, or yeah, I think it was Owa Wiwa. Just like soda pop, some people say soda. You know, I think East Coast, I remember says soda, and around the South, they say pop. Because uh, I, uh, when I started hanging it around with uh, some of the people in the military, you know, they would say soda. I'm like, soda? Oh, Amy, Mado. <laughs> yeah. Watanka, Walika, Wawoka, all towns in Indian territory mean some sort of water, calm water, still water. I think Wawoka was, uh, I think it was barking water. So um, I remember reading that. So, um, you know, they would talk, talk about soda. In the military, you're just with everybody, you know, north, south, east, west. And uh, I would say pop. And they're like, what are you talking about pop? And then they would say soda. And I was like, soda, you mean, you mean pop? <laughs> and uh, some people caught the word soda. Some people caught the word pop. At the end, since my husband was from, uh, from the North, I ended up saying soda. And then you got those people who say Coke. What, co what kind of Coke do you want? Sprite, Dr. Pepper, and you're like, Coke? <laughs> All right, so totally. Hotoli, wind. Dotka, fire. Dotka, fire. Like I said, hotoli, hotoli. It's not hotoli, hotoli. And that's when we're trying to emulate the speakers on how to say it, how to pronounce it, and catch that special sauce of, of, of the language and the spice of the language. The, 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 um, the soul of the language is hotoli, dotka, fire. Igana, earth. Sutta, sky. Hachi, river. Hachuchi, stream. Uh, Kolaswa and Kojo Jumbi. Kojo Jumba. Kojo Jumba. 
All right. So from what I understand, Golaswa, Golaswa is a star, like a big star. And this is this was taught in the college, and I didn't see it in the dictionary. And Kojo Jumba was many little stars. And this is just an explanation that I got from um, college. And she was uh, Mahaya Marshall. She's a first speaker. And this is what she was talking about. But in the dictionary, it says either one for star. All right. So Kolaswa Kojo Jumba, star. Oholoji, cloud. Otolithako, Otolithako, I think I got that. Yeah, I need to correct that uh, that separation there. Otolithako means hurricane. And then Hituti Nithka, Hituti Nithka is hail. Ito Isi is leaf. That's how I learned it in college, Ito Isi. But you see in the dictionary, do isi and do wisi. Do wisi. I heard just recently somebody said do wisi and they were talking about leaf. I had never heard that, but when I looked it in the dictionary, those three were the spelling for leaf. Just depends on where you're from and who you um, who you speak with. Again, the ito isi is tree hair. The do wisi. You see the apostrophe in front of the T, and uh, it's just talking about uh, the, the apostrophe means usually that they leave something out so that they, on the do isi, the E is missing, but it means ito isi, do isi, do wisi. You see in front of that also apostrophe, the E is missing, so it's, uh, it's just a different variation. And then ito, okay, you, you got it on the head. Hayatichka, Hayatichka means nature, it means morning star. Hayatichka. So when you go out um, in the morning with your coffee, you can say, Hayatichka, Mado, you know, just appreciation, a new day. And I think about, and I don't, I know, I'm just telling you, I don't get up early enough to, to just relax. <laughs> I'm just not a morning person, but. If I did get up early enough, I would stand outside and just, you know, acknowledge everything. Belly swill for soda. Let's see, Christy was saying. Belly swill for soda. Oh, never heard of that one. Jumba is sweet, makes sense of Milky Way star formation. Yeah, yeah. And I was wondering about that. I haven't gotten to um, talk to Mahaya Barnett about, she's got all kinds of stories and I just love to sit there and listen to her. And sometimes she knows some of the stories, like like I said, for uh, Gojo Jamba, for Star, and Kolaswa. They always have the cool little stories that go along with some of these words that are not in the dictionary or were not written down. So when I find out all this stuff, I like to uh, try to share it with you guys because it's a, it's a cool thing. And this is part of the uh, Muskogee uh, culture and, and thinking. All right. So does anybody have any question on the nature of words? Right there, let me bring that back up before. All right. So just, you know, um, walk outside, acknowledge things. And um, yeah, those stories are amazing. I hope Mahaya Barnett writes those down. Yeah, she should. She said she's, this is what she said. This was really cool. She goes, every day she writes down notes and everything. So hopefully one of these days she will get a book out there. And, you know, I'll be the first person to buy that. She's got so many cool stories. And, and when I sit in here and listen to her, we'll talk about some things before she teaches. And uh, it's really interesting. All right, so those are the three things that we have. Oh, here it is. Goodness gracious. <laughs> or you hear the uh, some of the elder woman, hey, la. <laughs> My mom used to say, hey, la. Hey, la, I should, you know, I should have looked there. <laughs> and I miss that, I miss that. I didn't realize that was a native uh, saying until I got older. I just thought it was mom, but I uh, went to um, CMN and, and Mahaya Marshall said, hey, love, my mom used to say that. It's almost like a flashback. All right, so now you see what I was talking about. Um, I put everything where it's TOS, DOS. 
So that makes it more in line with how the Muscogee Language Program, um, a lot of the speakers speak. The other way is fine too. So, and you see that I broke it down a little easier. So to, to uh, speak, Bida is doi doa. Bida is doi doa. How is it outside? Kasapidos. 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 It is cold. Eidos. It is hot. I did put that a, uh, I there, so um, it is corrected on this version. Eidos. Mujaneta eidos. Mujaneta eidos. Today is hot. Mujaneta kasapidos. Today is cold. Mujaneta kasapidos. Mujaneta hidusi dos. And you see it, the other one had H E R O S E. I changed it to, as the spelling is in the dictionary H E R U S E. Mujaneta hidusi dos. Today is beautiful. And then the wind is strong. All right. I like that we um we were able to break it down. And um, even if you've never heard it before, you can kind of you can pretty much say it now that everything is broken down into bite-sized chunks. And um, a couple of the the instructors that I was talking with, you're know, like, you know, I've seen them break things down. Because if you don't say it and you don't know it, you know, um, it's not on your tongue, but you can break it down and still know how to say it. So even though we're learning and this helps us a lot, um, the other Mahayas also, they're learning as well because there's there's a lot of words that, you know, we don't say. And then if you don't speak all the time, there's a lot of words out there that you haven't spoken in one. All right, so that's all I have for you today. Like I said, these are... Um, these are third person, so you know, open and close parentheses means that something is there, he, she, it, or they. Um, I encourage you guys to um, try to get some of these infinitive verbs. I've been trying to trying to sit some of the uh, the speakers down, but since school started, they're out in all of the, the uh, elementary, high school, middle school. So <laughs> I'm like, hey, can you? And then they're like, hey, and then they're they're gone. So I'm holding down the fort now. I'm supposed to be answering the phones whenever the phone rings. So, like I said, you know, we're busy around here. And since we have a little time, I'm gonna go ahead and show you some of the, the words that I have been playing with. I always like to share. Um, it's not always out there. Um, and sometimes Instagram and Facebook loses things. I don't know how to say it other than that. They lose things. Or what is it? You get in Facebook jail or whatever it's called. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. All my August words are not here. Ugh. I can't show you guys that. Let's see. July. I think you guys already seen July. Yeah. You've seen July. But these, remember, if they're not out on Facebook or Instagram, I have them in mine. And it has word of the day. So you've got access to all of, the, I'm just gonna say, you guys have the cool access, all, all season pass access to the words of the day. And those who do not know, they don't know what's out there. But these are all the words of the day that I have done. And let's see, so in Mahaya, Desiree Emerton, you will see word of the day. And you've got March, April, May, June, July. I just finished August. And August are the um, like Kibala, Pagana, it's food. And at the very beginning, for the very first day of August, I know August just passed, but for the very first day, I put humbis, humbis. So all the words for August, you can put in front of that word and you can make a sentence. Pagana humbis, I am eating peaches. Kibala humbis, I am eating strawberries. Asi is also used for leaf, as in the tribal town of the church. Asi. Okay. Let's see. Long, long, long Green leaf. Asi, Asilanabi. As, oh, Asilanabi. Okay. I think Asi refers to dry leaves also. Yeah, yeah. That would be dry leaves. Okay. Well, thank you for sharing that. I didn't know, didn't know that. I, um, 
I grew up in Oklahoma City. So um, learning when I came here, I'm learning a lot more about the uh, the uh, tribal grounds and a lot more of the stuff that I've always wanted to know, but nobody's ever showed me or taught me. And I actually just went to um, a stop grounds just recently with my family and I was all excited and I was just, uh, I don't know, just so excited that I could be there and share that with my family because it's stuff that I've never grown up with. And um, we we're talking about how the boarding schools have really robbed a lot of our native people. But the cool thing is, is we still have some elders to reach out to and learn these things. All right, Mado. If anybody doesn't have any questions, I think we are pretty much done for the day. Mahaya. Go ahead. How do you say that happy birthday? I've been trying to sound it out, but I can't do it. Let's see. Happy birthday. I think somebody was a proper way to someone a happy birthday. So what I told asked Mahaya um, Barnett about, she goes, we didn't have happy birthday. But Amy has it in there. Can Hitchkida Nida Afachkibas? You know, um, that's how Amy has it. Um, I was always told, told by uh, Mahaya Barnett, there's not really one way to say happy birthday. I think she um, translated one time, enjoy your day or something like that. Um, I'll ask her again, because that's a good question, because I, I always do get that that question. That question. Mm. Um, hello, hello. Hello. All right, okay, back to you then. All right, normal second person bus. Yeah, I think when I, I think I got that from when we were talking about this before, and it was like what you're saying, there was multiple different ways of saying it. So I, I, I can't remember if it was Mahaya Becky or if it was another Mahaya that gave that phrase to me. I wouldn't have known that on my own. Just it was, but I, I want to give credit to whoever did it, but I, I don't remember which Mahaya it was. So yeah, everybody's I, like one big Mahaya Ogi, you know, <laughs> so I, I it all flows that. together. <laughs> but anyway. Got here. Somebody did ask me that. Okay. Thor has something in Hutch. In Hutch. Chiska. In Haranetku. In Hota Cheska Netu. Cheska Netu. Sounds good. In Hot Hota Cheska Netu. Yeah. All right. Let me. Uh, because uh, I know I see Mahaya Barnett. She's here somewhere um, in and out from the Just college. Yeah. Yeah. Just got neta. Sounds good for birthday. Just well, I'll ask her and see what she she has to say. Because I don't know. Um, I just remember asking her before. And she's like, oh, there's no word for birthday. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> you know, um, like I said, there's some, some things that... Um, that are really not Muskogee, but you can actually put words to it. So I'll, I'll ask her again and then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll figure it out. And then I will share it like, um, I know, like this one. I know, um, Nikki and Robert were asking me a question. Maybe I can make a little uh, video for you guys. You know, for happy birthday. <laughs> I think the collective though wants to wish you, and I, I'm just going to say the version I have. Chin hitchkira neri nita bachkibas. So whatever, I think that's what everybody's wanting to do. <laughs> it's the focus. Yeah, I leveled up to fifty four, so I'm happy. <laughs> but, oh. Yeah. All I right. wish I was fifty four again. <laughs> <laughs> so you know what. And people say, well, don't tell everybody your, your age. And I'm like, why? I'm happy. You know, my kids are doing good. I'm still breathing. So I'm happy, you know. But uh, Mado, Mado for the good birthday wishes. I, I just, uh, it's it's nice to spend time with you guys. I mean, seriously, you guys make me, make us happy when Mahaya Barnett comes in. She's like, oh my gosh, that just, she, she's like, that just touches my heart. To know that you guys are spending time learning our language and we're learning together. Me and you guys are learning together. Now, Mahaya Barnett, <laughs> she's, I'm trying to learn from her too. So I'm like trying to do this little 
<laughs> teach and learn. <laughs> but uh, all right, Mado. So I will see you guys again either Friday if you come in the evening or Monday. And uh, I will try to get the uh, words to Chihita. Is are you saying okay? Chihi Chi. I'm not sure what you're trying to say. Hold on. Oh, Chihita, please. Okay. Did I say that right? You didn't spell it right, but I, yeah, I thought that was what you were going to say, but I spelled it wrong. <laughs> I, it, the last part is spelled C A R E S. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I thought that that's that's a good try yeah, because I was like, I'm pretty sure, but yes, I will see you guys. Adam G. Chocolates, I will see you all again. Adam G. Chocolates, Chris, Christy, I will see you again. But oh. Mache and many blessings for the coming year. All right, madam, madam.